Hello everyone, it's Miros Control and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do zooming transition in Sony Vegas. It includes zooming in and zooming out. So first let me show you an example. Okay, let me show you what's going on frame by frame. You can see this is our first clip then we move from the first to the second in this way like we are zooming out using a camera lens and you can see that we have some motion blur which makes it look even more natural so that's what we are trying to to achieve now so let, let me delete all the tracks we have this footage with press press tab to to import the video without the audio and one thing you must put in mind while while you want to do this transition is that your both of the scenes must be taken from the same angle like this one so we need to split at this point before we move to the second clip and here you can see in the enemy itself they did zooming transition we don't want to use that so we come over here and this will be our second clip but you will notice that we don't have enough time to to do that transition because uh, this guy will shoot immediately after like two frames so now we need to freeze our frame so we can have time to do our transition come over here uh, to the beginning of the second clip open in trimmer and then move just one frame to the right right here so you can see that they are th these are the same frame press right click then save snapshot to file save and this window will pop up drag this picture and split delete so now we have we it's like we have frozen our clip at that point okay so now we can proceed we come over here to event crop pan tool and before that we better place this one over this picture over our free, our first clip come over here to the first frame make sure that that those both of those are checked and now we need to come to any of those nodes or the edges and just drag it in you will see that we it's like we are zooming in our photo now we need to make this frame look just like the first clip so if we turn this one off and see that uh, we have three buttons and like mm, some space over his head So we drag the, the, this one down, this rectangular. Make sure that this one is, is set to move in Y axis only. So we need to drag it down and zoom in a little bit. Mm. Zoom out. Okay, so if we turn this one, this track off, you look like it, you will see that it looks much similar. So the next step is that you come over here to the last keyframe and set it back to default. So what will happen now is that it will it will start this clip will start at this position, then it will be zooming out.
and now we need to set this keyframe to smooth so when the motion start uh, when the motion is about to end it, the motion will start to slow down let this one fade in this one fade out because this frame as you can see doesn't look that nice so we can just hide it that way and by now we have done the main thing now we need to add some touches to make it look more realistic so we need to add some blur as if we were zooming out using a lens so we can add radial blur double click then hit ok we need to change the type to proportional and you can see when we change the value how it looks like real motion blur so we make it start with the value of let's say 0.9 and end with 0 so gradually it will be changing so we got a problem here that we can see our blur very well why because the part which is affected by the blur is outside our footage our scoop you can see the blur here so one way to overcome this problem is that first you, do, you, can, you delete the effect then you pre-render this part um, where should we put it? Okay. Render it. And then drop it back, delete the video, uh, the audio track, and replace it with our new footage. So it is the same thing exactly. So if we want to apply our radial blur use the animate animate the value of our the strength of our blur let it go back to zero and change this one to smooth fade So you can see here that now we can see the blur unlike the, our previous clip. In case you find it too fast, you can always slow it down by coming over here to the edge, press and hold control and drag it to the right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can do zooming, zoom in transition using the same methods. We just like instead of zooming out like this, you will be zooming in. So I guess that you can figure that out. But always make sure that your two clips are has been taken from the same camera angle you can always add more things like coloring effects and you can add some more shakes and so on so yeah as always show me what you have tried